Hey everybody, Supersonic Bouncy, and today I'm gonna go over a new program by Techspin, the uh, makers of Camtasia Studio uh, for your computer, for your Windows or Mac, I believe, computer. It's called Jing. It's a screen capture software. It can do photos and video. So without further ado, let's start it up. Uh, start and then just type Jing. It'll load. Then you got the splash screen. It's just an orb, and it'll go up to the place where you docked it. Mine is, by default, it's at the top here. You can move it around by just clicking the sun, and moving it around. So I like it up there. And then, all right, it's for easy use. So like you're chatting with someone and that. Oh yeah, I do got this. You just start a capture, move it where you want it. Let's go, just do that, and then capture image. What you can do in here is upload the screencast and share it with everyone in the world. Save it, or copy it to your clipboard, and then you can also edit it and snag it, which I have no idea what it is. And then configure buttons, and then do different stuff like put text in there. Hi. right here. Okay. Draw smiley face. Oops, no. I don't know. Arrow. Right there. Yeah. Okay. And then cancel. Mm -hmm. And then uh, your orb thingy is still there. And then uh, video, which is uh, mainly what I think is for. Uh, just hit video. Uh, you got your little move it around and you got this little thing then three two one and mics on you can turn you have this thing here you can move it in the middle mute and unmute it uh, whatever pause it and stop it and then cancel stop will show you it then it's got this nice player here the only bad side is that it covers the this thing, this thing covers the taskbar, so you can't see that. I hate that. Uh, then what you can do after that is upload the screencast, and then send the link to your friend or whatever. Save it, and then, or you can edit in the Camtasia Studio if you did buy that. Um. Then when you save it. Here's the majorest downside I really hate about this, or else I'd use it full time. It only saves as an F SWF, which uh, your internet browser can read, uh, but you can't put it into, say, uh, an editor. Yeah, that's it. Uh, like Sony Vegas or WMM, like most people would be using. So that's the downside. This is mainly for quick capturing and sharing. Then uh, in there, you got your history, and you can see previous things that you've done, that you've saved or uploaded. Then in here, you have. Uh, your settings, and we can move the orb around. Say done, uh, send feedback, preferences, help, and quit. Let's go to preferences, got a hot key, and you can change the video format. But the MPEG 4 Pro is for Pro only, and you can go Pro. And then you can also quit it and just put the power button, and then yes. That's basically it. So, if you like this review, comment, rate, subscribe. Um, overall, I'd give it a two, 2 out of 5 stars. Uh, it's really bad that you can't save it and upload it to YouTube. But, yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe.